It's the leading cause of cancer deaths in America, lung cancer. In this Lung Cancer Awareness Month, a new report by the American Lung Association explores how to save lives and, for the first time, the lung cancer burden among racial and ethnic groups. The association's National Assistant Vice President, Michael Sealbag, joins us to talk about it all. Michael, thanks for joining us. This report is all about uh, finding improvements in this picture. Uh, what, what are we looking at in terms of cancer in New Jersey, the statistics? Where does New Jersey rank? So the American Lung Association released our third annual State of Lung Cancer report today. And we found that New Jersey is among the best states when it comes to surviving lung cancer. Unfortunately, New Jersey has a long way to go when it comes to the level of lung cancer screening. Uh, so we really saw sort of a mixed bag in this year's report. So where does New Jersey then rank among states in terms of uh, the, the, the prevalence of lung cancer? So on the prevalence side, we know that about si over 6,000 New Jersey residents are gonna get diagnosed with lung cancer this year. And from a trend perspective, we're actually moving in the right direction. Uh, in the fact that as we've seen uh, smoking rates decrease, we've seen diagnosis uh, improve, and certainly we're seeing better treatments. So the prognosis for lung cancer has drastically improved. This is the first time the association has looked at lung cancer and, the pe and people of color. Um, why did you do that? You know, I think like all of America, we are really here at the Lung Association focusing on uh, breaking down, you know, s systemic uh, challenges to health equity. And when we looked at the numbers, we saw that people of color, unfortunately, are being diagnosed uh, later with later stages of lung cancer, uh, and they have less options uh, for treatment, um, which doesn't make any sense genetically. It's all about sort of the healthcare system. And so this year's report, we want to really educate not only the public, but as importantly, our healthcare providers to ask them to join us in breaking down those barriers. There is zero reason why uh, Black Americans, Latinos, uh, even Pacific Islanders and Asian Americans all have uh, significantly uh, decreased amounts of screening, uh, treatment. Uh, we saw you know, a number that showed that uh, about 15% of Black Americans ha didn't receive any treatment after being diagnosed, that they didn't get surgery, they didn't receive immunotherapies uh, or even chemotherapy that simply with that diagnosis, uh, they went on their own. Why is that? You know, I, th I think it's a, a multitude of reasons. One, you know, there's, we need to make sure that all Americans have access to quality and affordable health care. If you don't have that quality and affordable health care, you're going to have less options available to you. Two, as I mentioned, I think there's a stigma involved in lung cancer that traditionally people didn't know that there were so many options for treatment. Uh, and so that we need to change that uh, stigma and make sure that the public is aware. And third is, is the healthcare system itself. We want to make sure that physicians are encouraging their patients to explore all the various options. And we'd encourage folks to go to our website. If you know a loved one who's been recently diagnosed, uh, go to lung.org and learn about the various treatment options available and then talk to your physician about those options. Michael Selbeck there with the American Lung Association. Michael, thank you very much. Thanks for having us.